How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. As always, time stands down below. Hit the like button. Fishing plan in the hunter call the wild news coming right at you right after this. Welcome back everyone. So good to be back after my long vacation. If you're looking forward to see some of those big fish that I caught during my vacation, then you better make sure you're following the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, but I will be showing some short clips here at the BZ Hub as well. Exciting news today in the Fishing Planet and the Hunter Call of the Wild Worlds. Starting off first with Fishing Planet, Lenny Vala is having a perch bully monster uh, released into the depths of the water there at that starting location you can go hunt down that lake monster pretty early on as it will be kind of right there with the mad eye buffalo as far as uh, monster fish are concerned in fishing planet now of course this does raise speculation as to what sort of season two uh, monster fish are going to be coming to fishing planet I know that we've seen different names coming up uh, of, of different fish being added to the leaderboards which we aren't seeing in the game so far which could be additional monster fish being added to a lot of the European lakes and uh, rivers and whatnot. So everyone look forward to future BZ News is covering all of that. That's a hint to subscribe if you're not already. Jumping into the Hunter Call of the Wild now, I'm sure a lot of you know about this water bottle found in Leighton Lakes, which has everyone wondering what is coming next. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me what my thoughts are concerning this water bottle found in Leighton Lakes. As you can see here in this video, I'm showing you the location of where you can find it in your own game. But what we're looking at here is a simple gourd water bottle here in Leighton Lakes and one of the uh, one of the spotting towers or whatever you want to call them. And we're really not given too much content context. But what I can tell you is that I have two hints so far that I kind of think narrows it down just a little bit and with a little bit of research I think we kind of know what we're looking at so far and we might be able to make a few estimates as to what we may see in an upcoming map. First up we have the water bottle itself. It's a gourd water bottle. Doing a little bit of research you'll find that there's a bunch of different cultures that use gourd water bottles and the first one I saw was actually in China and I know that we saw China in one of the surveys so I thought to myself well that could be uh, uh, one of the locations we might be looking at now another use of this gourd was a uh, sake or sake uh, hip flask which is kind of interesting going more into like a Japanese flair perhaps China Japan but uh, I will tell you as I continue to do a little bit more research and of course one helpful hint from Magel's uh, one of the community managers from EW put in a hint that maybe it being found in Leighton Lakes was a hint of its own and so then I started thinking okay well where are these gourds used in the United States or maybe perhaps around the United States and that's when I found about the Lagunaria Caesarea uh, I don't know if that rhymes or I'm probably butchering it really badly but Lagunaria Caesarea the Mexican water bottle gourd and if you look at it it looks pretty eerily similar to the one we're seeing in the game right now and I will say that a lot of people have been talking about wanting more of a desert map wanting those pronghorn javelina kua's deer uh, whitetail uh, along with many others I'm sure throwing a bobcat or something who knows uh, I think it should be really interesting so that's my if you're wondering what my my guess is for this water bottle what it means I don't think it means that they're gonna throw in some sort of survival aspect to the game where you're gonna have to eat and drink and sleep to keep your character alive or something I do think that this might be our first map of the year one of two usually where we might be seeing Mexico added as a new uh, reserve now when I think of Mexico I think of happy thoughts and I think of kind of of my thoughts I'm excited about the idea of hunting in a desert map I like the idea of a desert map growing up in Kansas a different environment that I'm not really used to and it gets me excited thinking about hunting in a different environment that's you know less similar to Kansas that's pretty cool but when you think about some of the animals that would go into a Mexico map my excitement starts to dwindle a little bit as I start thinking about okay mule deer we have a few maps with mule deer in it actually and uh, this is gonna be probably another 
another map with mule deer whitetail i know a lot of people would love to see more whitetail in the game and so that is probably going to uh, be enough to make people excited about this map uh kua's deer we might be seeing some of that added into the game smaller deer though i'm sure they'll make them large um something uh different species anyway to chase after uh probably going to see another turkey added in uh whether it be the same turkey we're already seeing in the game possibly but there is an opportunity to, to actually do a different species of turkey which if that's the case then uh i think it would be nice if they uh did that more often um just to give a little bit more variety and i know a lot of people do like thinking about hunting every species of turkey in north america and that sort of thing so i think it's actually a pretty good idea javelina of course pronghorn antelope we also have in the game already um bobcat you could have a bobcat coyotes but honestly when you start thinking about the animals that are gonna go onto this map you'll see a lot of overlap with other uh, maps already in the game which is kind of less exciting for me now of course something that could spice it up perhaps would be a desert bighorn having a different species of bighorn sheep something with a little I don't know a little bit bigger or something like that could be kind of cool as well as give us just another species and if it's kind of like a reskin at least gives me another species maybe we could have a dual mount of the two of them hitting each other could be kind of cool and then of course the mother of all wishes some sort of quail or pheasant added in there really want some sort of upland bird added into the game in mexico if, if there's going to be anything that gets me excited about mexico it would be something like that but i'm not going to hold my breath but I will say it is kind of interesting looking back. I mean, think about Leighton Lakes and the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains being the uh, the boxing gloves found in Leighton Lakes, which was a hint towards the Rocky Mountains. And then, of course, thinking back to Quattro Colinas being all the, the painting of all the different horns and stuff like that found in Hirschfeld. There are different maps that were uh, that were found uh, in the same region and happened to be a new map that were also in the same region. So I, I think it's a pretty good guess thinking that uh, this could possibly Absolutely be you know something that's gonna be in North America Mexico it it all kind of lines up it makes a lot of sense hey eager to hear what you all think about this obviously comment down below tell me what you think about the hints added in the game as well as the new fishing monsters that we might see in fishing planet tell me what you might be excited to catch as well as any sort of animals that I may have missed thinking about a Mexican map. What would you be most excited to hunt for in Mexico? I'm just kind of excited to hunt in a desert area. But I mean, uh, uh, I, I hate to be a broken record here, but an upland bird, pheasant, quail, please, please add it in. Come on, come on. Give us a bird dog afterwards, right? <laughs> But that's going to do it for this episode of BZ News. If it was helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the BZ Hub if you haven't already. You're missing out if you're not. And if you enjoy the outdoors, if you consider yourself an outdoors person like myself, then the best way to follow that is with the modern day outdoors and join the MDO, everyone. Links down below, as well as links to the Discord and everything else. Lots more videos coming in the future and can't wait to do more of our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Hope to see you there in the future. Take care, everyone, and as always, remember, we're one planet, one family. Game on.